Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. It would really, really help me out. You don't have to, but it would really help me on getting my channel where I want it to be. OK, let's move on with the clip today. So what I want to talk to you about today is winter skincare. OK, so I'm 27. Young man, am I interested in skincare? Absolutely. But I need it to work for me. I need it to be effective. I need it to be quick and I need it to go into my skin and absorb quick as anything so I can get on with my day. In the winter, skincare is really, really important looking after our skin. We all know throughout the year it's really important from an early age to look after our skin, whether that be in the sun, whether that be as the change of the seasons, whether that be whilst you're in the house more throughout this uh, this epidemic at the moment, which we're all going through with the coronavirus. So, of course, we're spending a lot more time where it could possibly be with central heating on throughout the winter. All these factors which affect our skin, even when you go outside, even the different elements, the different changes of weather, that type of thing, all sorts of things affect our skin. But more so throughout the winter, it's really important that we look after our skin. Number one, for example, vitally vitally important is your diet it sounds such a cliche doesn't it and everything usually starts with diet but you know what for skin it makes a huge huge difference now you may think how can i where where do i get my grounds from how to say that i actually can i have a problem where i find it really really difficult to eat enough of what i should be eating um if i get stressed or if i get worked out i kind of almost close down in the fact that i i really struggle to eat what i what i need to so i only eat very small amounts and you know what being very very honest when I do eat, I eat vegetables and salad and things like that, but I don't necessarily eat sort of the, the foods rich in sort of oils and vitamins and minerals, which are rich for good skin health. So for me, it's the opposite end. For somebody else, it could well be that they haven't got time possibly to prepare a good, wholesome, cooked, vitamin-rich uh, meal. So therefore, they, they, they binge on quick eating things. So therefore, that's going to have an effect of your skin. But let me tell you something, if you don't eat right, your skin changes and more so it, it's noticeable. For example, me, I end up, I, I can have breakouts, I can have quite dry skin if I'm not getting sort of a, quite a rich diet, what I should be having if I'm not drinking enough water. And which is another huge factor, my skin really does tell, tell the truth, to be quite honest with you, and it does tell the effects of what's going on. So it's vitally important to get your diet right. What's really, really good is if you are struggling to, to fit the bill, sort of as to speak, with having a really rich diet with vitamins, minerals, drinking plenty of water, having all the right stuff, which we all know, is supplementing your diet. Now, always be careful with this, but supplementing your diet with a multivitamin or something such as sort of a fish oil or omega-3s, so that type of thing, is really, really good. But of course, always seek the advice of a medical professional, first of all, whether that be a a pharmacist, whether that be your family doctor, or whether it just be a chat over the phone with a medical professional, just helping you stay well and safe, and just supporting your journey if you are thinking of taking any supplements. And of course, on the back of that as well, good skincare regimes. Now, you may think, what on earth does a man want to be doing that for? And you know what? I was absolutely the same. I was absolutely the same. But it took me quite a few years throughout my teenage years to be able to come up with some sort of, I don't want to say regime, um, some sort of schedule, you could call it, but some sort of routine where I knew I was going to be having good skin and how to look after my skin. Now, throughout winter, we all need to pay that little bit more attention to our skin, a little bit like summer, of course, because of the protection of the sun, which is vitally important. But in the winter, we need to look after our skin more because here's why. Very often as we're going out in cold weather, so we're going for a warm house to a cold outside, you can get a change in your skin. For me, what happens is I get dry areas here by my mouth and I get quite a dry sort of area around my chin. And of course, that's exacerbated by shaving. And I also get sort of quite red cheeks, almost like they can feel like it's like a slight burn, which actually happens from cold weather. So what's happening is my skin's getting dehydrated, it's getting dry, it's getting irritated. So you've got this vicious circle, then you come back into a hot environment with, in the house. Then of course your skin sort of comes back to room temperature. You can get a little bit of oil uh, build up on your skin. You can then start to sort of have breakouts. So before you know, you've got this sort of, this sort of issue of oily skin, but it's dry, and it can be really uncomfortable and you are left thinking what on earth do i do 
it all starts with the very basics that actually keeping that balance of looking after your skin. So for example, first things first in the morning, cleansing your face. Now I do not use soap on my face. I always use a facial moisturizer. If I use soap on my face, it turns bright red anguishy. So a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of experience, what works for you goes such a long way. So for me, for example, I've just got a few things here which I'm going to show you. So for me, first thing in the morning, if I was washing my face right now, I've received this as a gift. So I would use this LMS by um, LMS Deep Cleanse Facial Wash for men. And this purified, it's a, it's a purifying daily wash. It's for all skin types. It contains oak bark, spearmint and milk protein. Uh, cleanses, refreshes and revives. So I would use a small amount of this on my face after I put water on my face so it's wet. Use a little tiny bit put it through your hands and then cleanse your face through. What that does is it's using the right ingredients to cleanse your skin, whereas soap I find just completely dries out your skin over and over and over. Now this one was a gift. It's a little bit more expensive you used to purchase this one. And I'll be very honest, I do not use this all the time. Every now and again, I use this and it's super nice, super soothing, refreshing and, and energizing. That's why I like a facial wash. If I'm not using this, I really, really like the I think they're unisex, the Nivea face, facial wash for men and women. That sets my skin up really, really nice for the day. It's soothed, it's energized, and it's and it sort of just gets me ready to go. Um, so that's really great. So finding the balance for your right skincare for you is vitally important to set you up for the winter and actually to set you up for life. Because once you find what works for you, you don't ever have to change. Of course, there'll be times when your skin changes, and of course that happens readily. So one season you could have dry skin, the next it could be oily, and the next you may even have a few breakouts. But ultimately, if you you guard yourself with having that sort of routine what you know works for you so having a cleanser which you know works for you and then having a moisturizer so for me right now it's this moisturizer here i know this is going to make my face look really healthy really vibrant and i'm ready to take on the day after i've done that the next important thing the next important thing is looking after your skin closing all down um Closing down those pores, so you've opened your pores up with the warm water, always wash your face with warm water, um, using a little bit of facial wash, you've cleansed your face, you've got yourself ready then to go. Then always, always after, cleanse, um, you've cleansed, and then you close everything down, you finish everything off with a moisturiser. So this is a really light moisturiser, now this is by LMS again, it's Pro Collagen Marine Cream. Now you may think that that is super expensive, yes it absolutely is, I don't buy it, I bought it, um, I received it as a gift. Um, when it's over, I would have a look at purchasing it, but it's not going to be cost effective for me. So what do I use on a normal daily uh, basis? So. As I say, if I if I don't use that facial uh, cleanser at the moment, I would use uh, a Nivea sort of facial wash or one which I know works for me. So, for example, um, very often it will be the Nivea one. If it's not that one, it will be the Bulldog for Men facial uh, wash. That works for me really, really well. Uh, as well and that's really really good and then I use the sort of the matching moisturizer so for example if I were to use the Bulldog uh, facial wash I would then go in with the moisturizer because I find what that does is you get this core basis that you've cleansed then you put moisture back in so you're closing those pores down and you're locking in the moisture you're locking in that sort of vitality and you've got that regime going on for you to then sort of take on the day and then you've got that comfortable soothed skin now I have not come to this sort of basis to come to these terms over a short amount of time. This was many years throughout my teenage years of trialing, erroring, um, erroring, <laughs> trial and error with different products. And believe you me, it really did take a long time to find that every time you wash your face, you need to use moisturizer. You may think, well, what if I've got oily skin? What if I've got breakouts? It does not matter. You need to replace because you need to have that balance in your skin. If you're washing, if you've got oily skin and you're washing your face, more and more and more, what you're actually doing is you're breaking that balance and oil is just going to keep coming back more and more and more. So theoretically, you're damaging that balance, what you're trying to create. So if you've got dry skin, oily skin, wash your face with quite a sensitive, soothing wash, I would always say. Leave soap well alone. That's for if you're in the shower, that's for if you're in the bath or for hands. For me, I really struggle to even use it on my hands, but we'll go there in just a moment but really more so in the winter as well. Find that balance for skincare, set you up for life. But I always, always say to anybody, when you wash your face, then moisturize. 
because then what you're doing is you're finding that balance in your skin and after time your skin gets used to this i used to have sort of very i never suffered with breakouts or anything as a teenager but i used to get like a small sort of couple of blemishes sort of around the jawline and in sort of the hairline here once I started using this and having that balance of when I cleansed, then I would use a moisturizer straight after or if I used a facial scrub sort of once a week, probably every couple of weeks using a, uh, a facial scrub, really getting in sort of around the, uh, the nose area, around the sort of the jawline and the forehead, really getting that deep sort of invigoration, and really lifting off the dead skin cells and getting everything working and fresh and vibrant and healthy. Always go in then with moisturizer. You may think, why on earth would you do that? Because you're trying to find balance in your skin. And honestly, once you find that, you will absolutely hold on to it forevermore. I have grown up from a very, very early age of uh, my 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 mum and my my mum's side of the family very, very much into all sort of looking after your skin, looking after um looking after sort of your, your skin throughout the seasons and as you grow older. So for example, um, I suppose what I'm trying to say is from a very early age, I grew up around the surroundings of my whole family was I would see using all these sort of products and creams and things. So always moisturizer, sun creams and that throughout the summer, and then come the winter, hand creams, moisturizers, um, always in our family bathroom. Um, and do you know what? Finding that balance, which we're talking about, really does set you up for later on in life. I grew up around sort of with my dad with his traditional sort of shaving routine, using these sort of products and things and sort of learning that from a very early age, seeing my mum using all different moisturizers. I'm um, very, very close with my nan, as you will know from my channel. She always, always used a particular product, Nivea, in the blue in the blue container here in the UK. Every night her face would be absolutely packed white with this moisturizer and i'm not saying you have to use a heavy base product like that at all because it is very heavy base products and a lot of skin types can't sort of accommodate that but for example what i'm trying to say here is if you put the effort and look after your skin and find that balance my nan has done that all her life she's now seen to turn 95 she has not barely got a wrinkle or a line on her face at all and i am not lying my mum is exactly the same my family where they do concentrate on their skin they do look after their skin even my uncles to be honest with you it seems to hold the test of time it really does and it's and i can absolutely assure you my nan does not seem to age because of her skin because of her skincare sort of routines regimes throughout her life my mum is exactly the same flawless skin my brothers absolutely because we've all learnt this sort of this this sort of skin education, as to speak, where if you look after skin, if you look after and you find the balance, um, then it really does. It, it it teaches you to hold on to that then for the for the test of time. It really does. Um, and and this starts from everything. But the one thing I have to hold my hands up quite literally and say is what's really bad for me throughout the winter is my hands. Now my hands they look really quite soothed here but i can assure you i really do struggle with my hands with dry skin my face i've got down to the t now i really have with finding the balance my favorites were which i showed you the alamis cleanser and the pro collagen uh, cream i absolutely love that I received that as a gift another range i absolutely love is the bulldog original moisturizer that absolutely looks after my face amazingly really soft really shiny re not really shiny sorry really healthy as like in a glow like a real health sort of I've got health problems and things going on in the background, so very often I always use a moisturiser. Every single night without fail, I use a moisturiser. In the morning, if I'm not feeling great, my skin on my face looks great because I'm looking after it with moisturiser. So you get that natural sort of health glow, not shine, of course, because that's then oily, which we don't want. I use mattifying moisturisers as well to, to sort of, if I ever have a, a day where, where it, it looks a bit sort of oily, it looks a little bit sort of um, too shiny, then mattifying moist, uh, moisturisers are fantastic for that as well. If I don't use that, then I actually absolutely love ones like this from the body shop now i'm coming to the end of this one i've recently done a review on this this is the mattifying uh, green tea and lemon um moisturizer for men and that's like a gel formulation which i absolutely love which really does mattify your skin that's perfect to use first thing in the morning so what i'm trying to say here is that balance of skin really does um really does look after you if you if you can sort of educate yourself with that and you can find that balance and of course winter we so need to look after our skin throughout winter because of course if it dries if it cracks it can be uncomfortable it can be painful but of course even though you may be in your late teens your early 20s watching this and thinking about skincare why do i need to bother 
well, because of course dry skin, dehydrated skin can age much, much more quicker before your time. Um, and of course, all of these things contribute to taking on into later on in life. That's when I go back to my family, where growing up from a very, very early age, even I think is a young sort of toddler, skincare was so, so important and ingrained to me by my parents, my, my nan, sort of family. Family's so important, isn't it? But you learn so much from them. Skin's so important. We only sort of have. We don't get a new set of skin, do we, in 10, 20 years' time. You have to look after it. Um, so I think really looking after it, predominantly throughout winter, and of course summer, because of the, the UV rays from the sun and everything, looking after your skin is so, so, so important. So ultimately, teaching yourself that balance of skincare is really important and something I urge you to do. My hands is a major thing, I have to admit, because I always get really bad dry skin, but predominantly throughout winter as well, and this sort of area of my wrist. Um, now, you may think, is it eczema? Um, I've had eczema before, but to be honest with you, it's just dry, sort of chap skin. Throughout this pandemic, we're, of course, we're washing our hands more. I'm a little bit sort of OCD obsessive on touching things with germs in those, those sort of areas. Um, so I do wash my hands and wash my hands and wash my hands. But again, it's that trial and error. So for me, for example, something like, uh, from the Nutri Neutrogena um, range, uh, so the Norwegian Formula hand cream. These these types of things, I don't know if you can see, um, I'm using all the time, sort of then a fast absorbing one, because I absolutely hate anything oily on my hands. And then even again, just touching on the O'Keefe's working hands. As you can see, I've got it all. I know my routine. That's why I absolutely urge you to really pay attention to your own skin needs, because what what works for one person might not work for another. So it's so, so important to really sort of take the time. And if you are having trouble with your skin, all I can say is literally stop using soap because I absolutely, that's the first thing I absolutely recommend, stop using soap. And then once you've done that on your face predominantly, first of all, find, find a, a facial wash, find a sort of a suitable moisturizer. Every time you wash, pump that moisturizer back into your skin, you will find a difference absolutely straight off. Do regular sort of uh, facial scrubs and you will find um, that sort of lifting those dead cells, lifting that sort of, that sort of, I, I always call it dread of the day. If you've had a bad day, it's great then to use a facial uh, sort of scrub in the shower and really lift all of that away, what you've had throughout the day. Um, and it's great then to use moisturizer and start all again the following day. And you will see the results of hydrated, healthy uh, looking skin. And do you know what, whether you're a man or a woman, everybody needs to have great looking skin. Because of course, these are traits we take on to life uh, and throughout life, as we have mentioned. So I hope you've really, really enjoyed this. Uh, this clip around winter skincare. It is something which is very close to my heart. As I say, I grew up, um, especially my nan and my mum, um, around all these good skincare practices and um, seeing these traditional sort of uh, shaving routines from my father and things. So skincare has been ingrained into me from a very, very early age. And you know what? My brothers are the same. They use all different products and things um, on their skin. And you know what? It tells. It really does tell. Um, and and it just makes you having good skin, having comfortable skin makes you feel so much more empowered to take on whatever you're dealing with in life. And um, if you're feeling a bit down, the last thing you want to be having is dry, irritated skin. It's annoying, it's uncomfortable, and it really does just go against you and make things a whole lot more worse and a whole lot more stressful. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing that with me. I've really, really enjoyed this clip. If you do have any questions, please leave them down below for me. I absolutely love receiving questions from my subscribers, and thank you for all the views. Um, I can't thank you enough. It really does mean so much to me. Okay, so until next time, we will see you then, and wishing you good, healthy skin throughout this winter and always. So bye for now.